Hi, this is Danny from Headway Theme Made Easy, and today we're looking at the search engine optimization or SEO features of the Headway Theme. Um, if you're a blogger or a website owner, because obviously Headway can build websites too, one of the key needs is to be found in the search engines. So if somebody's looking for you via the keywords that you choose, it's important to have a good placing on Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. Um, Headway, there's a, a lot of plugins that you can get for WordPress, but Headway's got its own built in. SEO features and it's definitely one of if not the strongest SEO features on any WordPress theme currently available. So let's just take a look behind the, the scenes and show you what the Headway SEO can do. So this is your WordPress dashboard area and if you go down to Headway and Configuration tab um, that will take you through to the general options. Uh, we'll look at these in more detail in future videos but for today we're just going to look at the search engine option uh, for you. So if you're not sure what SEO is or what it can do for your blog, Headway's put together some documentation for you. So just click over there and read that via the Headway site and that will get you up to speed. Um, but basically the, the Headway features, it covers every single possible thing you could even look for on SEO. So you've got your home title and you can choose between the blog name and the tagline. Um, the tagline is generally perfect for getting keywords. Um, set up for the search engine. So for instance the Headway theme made easy tagline is video tutorials for the Headway premium WordPress theme. So if anybody's going to search for say Headway premium WordPress theme or Headway theme videos or anything of that nature um, hopefully as the, the blog gets more established and I use SEO better it'll start to you know find its way up the, the, the search engine rankings. So that's your home title. Uh, your page title uh, speaks for itself. It's any pages that you have on your site. So that could be about, it could be home, it could be contact, it could be resources, anything like that. And you have the option of having your page name, your blog name and your tagline. The reason you have the three options is you can choose to have the about in the search engines and just the tagline and leave the blog name out altogether. Um, so it would be about Headway video tutorials for um, the Headway theme, for example. Um, so a lot of people prefer to go taglines as opposed to the blog name. The same goes with the single post title, so that's for each individual post that you have. So again, you've got the post name, blog name and tagline. 404 title is just really, if somebody inputs a wrong URL for your site, you get a 404 error page. Um, and you can even search engine optimize this with Headway. Categories is the split of the different um, categories on your posts. So it could be video tutorials, it could be how to's, it could be leafs, it could be columns. They are all categories. And again, you can optimize these for the search engines. Um, so you've got category, category description, blog name, and tagline. Um, tag title. The, the little tags that you put at the end of each post. Um, so you could say headway theme, videos, um, up up installing headway they could all be tags um, and again just like categories you can optimize these for the search engines so you've got tag blog name and tagline uh, you can also um, optimize the archives the search and the offer archives so if you've got a multi-user blog and you've got five six you know ten different users um, you can then optimize each individual offer archive as well so every offer that you have on your blog every one of their pages will be optimized for the search engines which is really cool for, uh, not only for your own blog but to highlight these guys that are writing for your blog as well. Um, the, the, the content, the meta description this is basically the, the little box that appears under the, the title whenever you do a search result. So if you type in Headway uh, WordPress theme for instance uh, at the top it will say Headway WordPress theme and you'll have a little box that gives a description of what that website is about. So just popping over to Google you can see that I've typed in already Headway Premium WordPress theme and at the top there's the Headway themes uh, website and this area here this is the meta description. So Headway is a premium WordPress theme offering drag and drop layout editing, easy design customization and developer friendliness. That's the meta description box right there and this would go here. And the great thing with Headway, let's just type this in, um, it advises you how many characters is optimal for best search engine results which is 150 characters and as you type in and my dogs are getting excited again as you type in your description the characters here go upwards so it, it guides you for the best optimization for your theme uh, come down to home keywords that's really the keywords you want to choose for people to find your website so I have the headway theme uh, video tutorials as my keywords, I've got Headway Theme videos, stuff like that. That's the kind of things that people will type in organically 
to find you on uh, Google and Bing and Yahoo. And these are the kind of keywords you want to go after as opposed to just headway theme or WordPress theme. Expand it a little bit and make it unique to your site, but also the kind of natural searches that people will type into the search engines. Uh, treat categories as meta keywords. I generally have this unticked because you don't want to confuse the search engines too much. Uh, treat tags as meta keywords. I don't. Um, but it just uh, allows you to um, enable tags of a specific post, for instance. So you can have that um, on if you want, but I prefer not to. Canonical URLs. Um, this is basically if you've got duplicate content, um, so if you're posting elsewhere, or if you've got um, old websites have www dot and then a website address, whereas newer ones just have the HTTP um, colon forward slash forward slash then the URL. Um, that can confuse some search engines. So what can canonical URLs does is it sorts all that out for you and doesn't you know make your site invisible and doesn't make your site difficult to find. So it's a really cool feature. I always have that ticked. And then you've got configuration. Do you want to add no follow to comment offers? I always use do follow on my blog comments just to thank you know people for coming along and commenting on my blog. A lot of people don't have do follow, they prefer no follow. And all no follow means is it won't send a link back to that blogger's website. But I have a lot of filters in place to stop spam, um, so that's why I offer do follow. And like I say, it's a nice way to just say thank you for, you know, for bloggers commenting on your blog. And the home page link, uh, if you've got a home tab on your website, that's always the first page that Google indexes. So just add no follow to that, and it's it means that Google will always in, index the rest of your site as well, or the pages that you let it, you know choose to to index. And you've got configuration here for category, archives, tag archives, author archives, so you can choose which ones you want to no index. And again, no index just means Google won't index that particular page or that particular description. And then down the bottom here you've got a couple of cool features. Uh, SEO slug cleanup. There's a bunch of words in any blog title or website page title, like A, An, Is, It, New for instance, that search engines aren't too bothered about. They'll include them, but they're not too bothered about finding them. So if you enable SEO slug cleanup, that'll take all these words out of your title and just make it a really focused, keyword-driven post or page title. Same with numbers. If you've got a post that says um, born in 1978, for example, or headway 1.7 or anything like that, and you don't want the number of the title to be in, uh, indexed by the search engines, you can remove the, the numbers from the slugs as well. So again, that's quite a cool little feature. So that's the, the main SEO area, but where it gets really cool now is in the post section. So if we switch over to the post, and this is just a test when I stuck in there to fill out some of the, the, the blog content. If you look down here now, um, Headway has always had this title, description and keywords, and this is where you can optimize your specific page or specific post for the search engine. So you can put in an alternative title here. So if I make a video called Headway Theme Installation, I can then change the title to How to Install Headway 1.7 on your WordPress site. And that's really optimized for the keyword um, terms via Google, but it still keeps a small title for my actual blog URL as well. So that's a really cool feature on offering alternate titles. Description is the same meta description that we looked at earlier and the keywords obviously where you choose the keywords for that post or page. Uh, you can also choose to no index a page and send no follow links in the actual post itself. So if you've got a lot of links and you don't want to lose say link juice or search engine juice from your post you can no index say sorry you can no follow the links and that will ensure that you can have all the links on your post but it won't take anybody um, or it won't take the search engines if you like away from your post itself. But what's cool on the new version of Headway and something that really stands Headway out from every other theme out there, <coughs> excuse me, is this new search engine result preview. This is the box that you would find in a search engine res uh, result after you've typed in your keywords. And it tells you exactly how it's going to look. So at the moment, my post is going to look Lorem Ipsum 6. This is the description and this is the URL here. Now, if I wanted to change that up, here's my description. And let's just say the Headway theme, blah, 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 blah. I can then type in here, and again, that's telling you how it's going to look in the search engines. This is a brilliant addition, and it allows you to see what visitors via Google and Bing and Yahoo would see when they're looking for you know the information that you offer via your post. It's a unique feature to Headway. It's just coming in a new version, uh, which is going to be released imminently, and this, again, just sets Headway head and shoulders above any other premium WordPress theme out there, especially when it comes to search engine optimizations. So there you go guys, that's a look at the new Headway SEO feature on posts. 
and obviously that's on page as well but it's also a look at the the overall headway SEO options which again makes it the the perfect theme for anybody that's that sees search engine optimization as an important part of your blogging. This has been Danny from Headway Theme Made Easy and I'll catch you next time with a new video. Thanks and bye.